So as you may or may not be able to see in the top right corner here, it says 55 minutes and change until the Super Adventure Festival ends. Uh, unfortunately, I waited until the last minute to do this. Well, I, I kind of intentionally, unintentionally waited until the last minute. So unfortunately, um, I'm going to not be able to complete Storm Top uh, 2018, or at least I won't be able to do a full walkthrough. Um, because it, it takes me about an hour and a half, and it took me an hour and a half to do the, the previous thing. So, I'm going to get as much on here as I possibly can. I'll do as much as I possibly can now, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm, f I'm fairly certain, considering how much effort, or how much time it took me to do, uh, what was it, pain clefts just now, uh, I'm, not, I'm fairly certain I won't be able to get this done. And keep in mind, I also still don't know all the secrets in this area. I had a hell of a time trying to learn all the secrets here. <laughs> For my own sanity, I'm going to... I've never done this in Tribulation mode. Actually, I've never done World 2 in Tribulation mode, so... I don't know where any of the things are here, or where, where, where the difficulty is. Maybe that kicks you there, and can deal with it. Whoa, boy. Calm down up there. Watch out for stalactites, they can be a pain. Literally. Now if you have a whistle, you can actually fix that. And I'll be using it a few more times in here. I'm going to trigger these on purpose. If you have a whistle and you're using the proper code, let's see, what is it? Ouch! If you use 133133, three, 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 you will trigger all of them at the same time, and they will never come back down. Hooray! So that's also uh, something you want to know. There's actually an achievement, for, there's an achievement for going in there, but there's not actually physically anything in there to collect. It's just the achievement of going and finding that spot. But basically you're just doing a little, a little loop, because you enter there, and then you pop out over there. And there are no other dig spots that I'm aware of, there's no other um, places to, to detonate, other than the two spots I've just shown you. So, beyond that, I don't know what to say about that particular room. I feel like there's something else in there, but I can't say for certain. Uh, I grabbed this checkpoint over here, because it's closer, it's just easier to drop down into this next section. I'm really careful to avoid them, because I don't want to mess with them. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. Again, because I've never done Tribulation Mode, I don't know... This is the path you're supposed to take, you're supposed to go this way, but beyond this, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Now, in Normal Mode, I can just walk around and... I didn't... I learned... I learned about a lot of secrets, but I didn't... Like, know the conclusions of some of them. I'm gonna take a half heart of damage here. Don't go too fast. Do not... Do not start from here, get a running start, and then try to jump. You will fail. We'll bounce against it. You want to stand next to it, go up. A big old chest for you right there.
As you learned previously, you learned the ability to open up invisible doors, or doors that you didn't know were there previously. Uh, the best telltale for that, especially in Storm Stormtop, most of them, vast majority of them, are the lips of these these Moai-inspired uh, faces. And the faces don't move. They don't move. But if you get your camera back just far enough, you can see there's a little bit of white. There's a, the tiniest bit of spacing between the lips, and you can see there's some white right there. So it means, oh, there's a door right there. So completely ignoring the owl, it's going to take me. You're going to take the code that you used previously, which is 332331. Like I said previously, if you do it too slowly or too fast, it won't register. So, I know this is here, uh, but it just seems a lot more elaborate than uh, than I know about. It feels like there's more stuff here than I know about. Let's see, this way... Let's see, do I drop down? Yeah. So, when you first, when you first come in here... Drop straight down. There's no there's no reason for you to go to the left. There's nothing over or, yeah, there's nothing over there, so just drop straight down. Mind your step. This is your first encounter with polar bears. Getting to them is the hard part. Unlike the bears in uh, Rapids, you can only hit them one time before they reset. So polar bears will take a little bit longer to kill. If I had Moto's finger, I'd be able to use that. Well, unfortunately, you can only use Moto's finger once per world, or once per life. But there's definitely a thing here. Now, here's the thing. It spits you out here, but... It's basically, so we entered over here, let's see, where is it? you can see the mouth right there, so we basically climb up his mouth, we climb up into the top of his head, we drop down, we fight the bears, so we kind of end up over there underneath, and then we end up over here, but it's kind of a long way around, so I, I feel like there's something else in there that I'm missing, but I'm not entirely certain. So, I mean, yeah, the advantage is to get to the, uh, the Raccoon Kingman, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to mess with him. You know, I was, I was kind of lucky with, uh, I was lucky with, uh, Pain Cliffs, but I'm, I'm not going to mess with it here, although I think there is another big point somewhere around here. I think, I think it could be right here. So for the, two, the 2018 run to, I'm not going to go that way anymore. So that's it as far as what I know up to this point. If there's another dig point or another chest or something, um, I am not aware of it at this point. I should stop saying I think there's another, I think there's another, because, like, I actually did take the time a number of days ago to explore all the dig points and get to as many... I think I've gotten pretty much all the secret rooms, in fact. Yeah, I've got the achievement to match it. What I don't have is... I haven't memorized the location of all the, the chests that you can dig up and all the other uh, not-so-secret rooms, whatever it is. Did I just say not-so-secret? Why did I do that to myself? 
because I'm just going to show what I know versus what I think they might be. seen an interactor right there. Uh, another invisible thing right here, I'd like to point out. I am very much standing above the floor. I always feel like there's a there's a, a tunnel right here. Like I do it every single time. <laughs> Moving on. If you have a torch as opposed to a candle, you can burn your way through. And then it'll come back. Again, you need the torch. Increase light and heat. So okay. But that's only temporary. Eventually, the waterfall comes back. If you learn a code later on in Stormtop specifically, the code is 133133, which is the same thing you use to knock down all stalactites. You can use it on waterfalls. Now, I don't know why they say that this is the easy direction to go, because again, I haven't done tribulation, but for whatever reason, they say the frowning face is that way. I guess they mean that not easy way does not allow you to do the checkpoint there. I'm not certain. Like, maybe the checkpoint is blocked off in some fashion. I can't say. But regardless, I'm going to do the checkpoint. Oops. I got greedy. Go ahead and drop down. Bananas! Which... It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Yo, it's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Arena net hard at work. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I'll get hit by these guys at some point. You can see what it is, that little piece of crap they throw around it does. Oh good, a key. Actually, I'll leave it there. Now you cannot see it, because I've already collected it, but I believe it's right here, is where the second bobble chat or er, bobble uh, purse comes from. The, the, like the first one's called a tote bag, I think this one's called a purse, which allows you to increase your bobble capacity up to 750. So this is the second area that you want to get it to. It's not difficult to get to, it's really not, you just gotta remember where it is. Um, once you get that, it's just another shop at that point. Although a little bit of a hassle to get through. Activate that key. And 
isn't any way to get back up, so if you've done that checkpoint up there previously, the best thing you can do is just hop off. That one is for, I am not certain. What that, uh, that breakable door is for, I don't know. But the point is, I do want to go to the left. There is a way to get that bobble. Uh, it's much later on, you end up getting teleported up there, and you just drop down on top of it. So, don't worry about that bobble initially. sake of uh, showing everything, I'm not going to use it. D teleporter basically just takes you to the top of this stack of things. But if you want to go for bobbles, you're going to have to go this way. I'm going for bobbles and showing off my elite skills. If you want to do the all bobbles thing, of course you have to go this way. They don't give you a choice. So you have to collect all the bobbles along the way. In, tri in tribulation mode, the arrows, the few that there are, the arrows will actually become giant heat-seeking missiles and will actually attack you. What a surprise that was in, in Sunny Glade, or was it, you know, Shiny Sunny Glade or whatever it was. I couldn't figure out where these giant missiles are coming from. I was like, oh yeah, it's the arrows. they didn't cover this section in ice. Oh, I 
I think that's it. Is it? Maybe. Um... I had done Stormtop before in years past, just, uh... Can you get back up here? Okay. Oh shit, I'm gonna fall off. I've done Storm... This is like my third year doing Stormtop, so like, I'm used to the mo... Or I'm used to the map. I actually like the map. The map is engaging for me, because jumping puzzles. Um... But, um... Knowing where all the secrets are is something completely different. Another secret area. Where was that? Well, maybe it's not here. The teleporter from way down there spits you out at the top right here. <laughs> Do they still have teleporters in tribulation mode? I don't know. I'll just, I'll just say it, because I, 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 honestly, I don't know. And that's it. Oh! That was silly. Am I digging? instantly, but it doesn't for some reason. This, this one's been very glitchy for me across the entire 2018 season. Oh, come on! This is, this is where you go! Come on! Come on! Oh, and by the way, the... the, the the wind is supposed to knock you out, but it doesn't. Let's see, what's that one code? Uh, did do that wrong? You're supposed to teleport instantly. There's no. There. Thank you. for the goat, because the goat does not count. Goats get to be really annoying later on. Really annoying. If you, 
don't have the whistle or you don't have a um, a torch, you can go to this store over here. You can go to the store here and you can, you can purchase an explosive from this guy for some reason. I don't know why, but that, that's what it's there for. You haven't gotten all the upgrades yet. Whoops, we're gonna get on my level scrub. Ah, speaking of scrub. Let's go. What's going on here? If you just have a torch, if you don't break the ice falls, then uh, it, it'll always stop here and you'll have to remelt. that there's a little gap, but, but there's a little white thingy right there. And, for example, I can't act activate it that way. Even though there's a glove symbol on the other side, you still can't activate it. So what you have to do instead is you have to whistle your way through it. go through all that, you, you go from here and you go in this direction. But if you're not going for secrets or anything like that, you're going to get behind this as slowly as you possibly can. Why am I not triggering that? Because I'm still in flute mode. Ah, 
Oh, hey, this looks familiar. So now, instead of going that way all the time, instead of having to climb up on top of this and then doing the teleport and the drop down thing, instead, you're using the exact same checkpoint. This is this is both the fourth and the fifth checkpoint at the same time. It doesn't count as the fifth, but it, it, it actually is opening up a new section. So if you if you die before you reach the fifth checkpoint, you just come back here, but this time, you're going to want to go this way. <gasps> I forgot that was ice! Ice spikes do exactly what ice spikes do. Oh, he hit me, he hit me. Bullshit. <sighs> Alright, so. There's a couple things here. But before you go in there, there's a chest right at the entrance. Oh, yes, it is, it is, it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is. This is what I was looking for previously. Uh, if I can get to it. There we go. That's what I was looking for earlier. I just fucked myself. Did I fuck myself? I fucked myself. Ah. <laughs> yes, I've just fallen back into a shop from a huge vertical drop. But that's not gonna help me. That was one of the new rooms I learned. Um, and this one, because I got the achievement as soon as I went into that room. I'm just gonna remember where it was. Oh, I know where it is. Come out of here. This is the hole that you're 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 climbing down into, and you're falling to here. So it looks like maybe you do your initial. F oh no, because that's blocked off. Hmm. Okay. So this is the way to do it. one of these guys just keep him stunned. Don't risk him not getting you over. Well, 
there's no way to get back up there, so whatever. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a checkpoint. That's the bottom end of the, that's the the pipes from the checkpoint hanging down on the ceiling. Uh, I got that, and do I want to mess with him? So whatever. So we will do this. Teleporter there. There's a ball there. Now this is one of those zones I wasn't entirely certain, like I didn't know all the secret areas, but there's a lot of places you can go. Like, there's a drop down right there, there's a teleporter there, and there's a banana there, but it feels like there's a lot more stuff here than, than I'm actually... I mean, like, maybe this is part of Tribulation Mode, you're expected to come over here. I don't know. I just didn't have the opportunity to explore it enough. <laughs> So, yeah, and then that drops down into something already done, but I'm going to take this. Oh, that is a huge... Wow. I suppose that'd be a shortcut of some kind, but I don't know the amount of effort you have to go through. I can see why they did it, because you pop out over here bananas over there. I need to go back, though, because there's stuff that I want to... Wow, I didn't know that was here. Wow. Okay, well, like, this is actually later on than what I've gotten to than, than, than what I've done so far in the video, but short on time. I have 20 minutes. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna record as long as it'll keep me in here. Hopefully without too many more fails. Okay, so previously, you dropped down, but there's some more to come. Half a heart, right here, of damage. Please give us World 3 in 2019, please, or, or sooner would be also nicer. And on this little ledge right here, I may take some damage from the spikes. But the idea is you want to drop down here. I wonder if I can fill up my baubles before, uh, before the server crashes. Now this is a case of a door that you... Yes, yes, beep, beep, beep. This is a case of a door uh, that you cannot open with the glove poison. You can't do it. The only way you can open this one is from the inside. So, even though you have that ability to... Even though you have that one whistle ability, sometimes it just won't work on areas that you can access otherwise. It only works on doors that you can't uh, get to otherwise. If you can only get to it with a whistle, then you can only get to it with a whistle. It won't open doors otherwise. Oh, there was another area I wanted to drop from. from. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Alright, so that's worth the time. Remember, I was standing down here from a different secret area, and I said, well, I can't get to this one ledge, but I'll be able to get to it from a higher altitude. That's where I am now. And there's, by the way, there's a chest right here. So I'm going to aim for the upper. Boom. And you'll notice he's got a little gap in his teeth. Which is totally why you want to dig. Nope, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Yes. 
that's why I was able to get that, that diving goggle achievement in Not So Secret on the very first try. I didn't even I didn't even die on the way down. I was just steering, steering. Oh god, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I made it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do easy mode. <gasps> 15 minutes left to the 2018 season. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. No. Just pay attention. Counts as a secret room, so whatever. If you don't have the whistles, what you have to do is you have to climb all the way around the corner here and throw bobbles at those cracks. So you can use your slingshot or the uh, yeah, I think you you can only use your slingshot, and you'll damage it from this side, and then you'll walk over here and you'll damage it from this side over here, and then you have to drop down there. However. If you have the ability to drop stalactites, come over here. That did not there we go. So not only will you drop some of those, but you're also going to drop a number of stalactites on the other side of this wall, which is where you're going to be going next. So I would also recommend you play the whistle here as well. Oops. And it'll drop some other, some even even more stalactites on the other side of this one. Wait, didn't drop that one. Oh, it's a small one. Whatever. Pick that up. Pick it up. Yes, this is a pain. Yes, this takes practice. Yes, I died many times trying to do this. that we took down because we, we used that whistle combination earlier. There's one more here. You can't get to that, so... Sorry, can't help you there. Oh, God, this part. Uh, this part. I think I'm going to die in the... Or I think the server's going to shut down on me while I'm here because there's only 14 minutes left. Um, and I don't have a lot of time, but I do have a lot of lives. I was using the wrong number. Oh. Not so much for the easy way out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the key there. Okay, so that was the easy way to do it. Seven twenty seven. Either the server's gonna run out or I'm gonna run out of space. get the last note in. Grr. There was a time, er, the, you know, earlier when I learned about this secret, I was able to do it without getting stuck, but you have to carefully navigate this thing and stand in just such a precarious spot. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Because you have to stand right next to it in order to make it work, so it's frustrating. I can't even 
and show off Storm Wizard. I like Storm Wizard. Storm Wizard's a neat boss. Storm Wizard is a predecessor to Mordremoth, because Storm Wizard came out before Heart of Thorns. So. Oops. Oh, come on! Open up! Okay. Which is how much effort do I want to put into this versus the other stuff I want to show? Oh, well, hey, maybe if you'd done this yesterday. I was at work yesterday. <gasps> Shit. And no, you can't trigger it from all the way over here. And no, you can't trigger it from all the way over here. And no, you can't trigger it from all the way over here. And no, you can't trigger it from all the way over here. Oh! Yeah, listen to me. Yo, absolutely. This this tells you what kind of guy it is. Okay. Fortunately, I know this one. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. Or I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Uh, most of these are dead ends. I'm going to go to the fifth one. You know what? I don't have time. Go to the fifth one. Left. Right. Right. And then go all the way to the end. Some of these do have little hidden uh, caches of food and stuff like that. Uh, I am not going to mess with this. But the reason you come in here, first of all, you have to kill all the bananas. And then there's a mouth. So I'm going to run over here. Hopefully they don't hit me. You can see there's a mouth right here. You have to open up this mouth with uh, 332, 331, which is right here. So you open this door. You have to clear all the bananas first. They won't let you do it otherwise. You open up that mouth, and then inside is a, not a shop. Uh, it, well, yeah, there's a shop, and you learn the code uh, 133133. So that's, that's why you come all those ways. It's the final, um, and that's what you use for, um... That's what you use for shattering, um, ice. Is this it? So it might be more like seven minutes. Okay. There is a secret door right here, but you have to get to it from I think it's the the really the really long ice ramp with all the, the polar bears on it. That's what this is for. Okay. this section, watch the goats, watch the mountain goats momentarily, and you will see that they always hit the exact same spots every single time. So your job is to ignore the spots that they are lighting up and light up all the others. If you 
try and, and beat them to it, it becomes very frustrating. It also takes a lot longer to trigger stuff. It's like, uh, where? Which one am I supposed to trigger? Which one am I not supposed to trigger? And also, they have knockbacks, or they have knockdowns, so... Seven ninety four. Suck it. If uh, you're at max capacity, if you're just under max capacity, and then you force it with a chest, then it'll actually go over capacity. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what's right here. Let's see what's the code. Nope, we did that. Secret right there. You can see the gap again. But for whatever reason, he's not taking it. One there. Oh, there's one in here. Actually, I'll be honest. I got uh, got a bit farther than I thought I was going to. Here's the one I was mentioning earlier that you can do a shortcut through here. So. Although why they put that there, I'm not certain. Because by the time you get to that shortcut, you can't even open it. So what's what's the point? Is that to help with progress? I'm not certain. Okay, so that was one of them. So we just fell out of there. Climbed up and fell out of there. And there were, so there's two reasons. There's one to open that up, which is redundant. Unnecessary. And the other reason is to give you a head start on this. I think there's a a, a, a a hidden chest somewhere in here, but I'm not exactly certain where. But this will give you. Excuse me, this will give you a leg up. I find attacking these guys from above is helpful. As soon as I set it, I drop down. No. Why? Remember that thing I said about a leg up? I'm going to use it. Ah, I'm good. The festival's gonna end while I'm climbing this stupid thing. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. No. Of all the places to catch me. No. 
No! Thank you, that's what I wanted. Fucking, I don't care. Oh, I think he falls. I think that. I think, I suspect there's a hidden chest somewhere along these ledges here, but I don't remember where it is. I feel like there's one. This is snow. <gasps> Unfortunately, you can't do the code to take down those stalactites. Grr. There's a glitch right here. You actually can use the 332331 here, but and you can open the door right there, but for whatever reason you can't go in. There's there's an invisible wall there, and I, I don't know why it's still blocked off. I think the door is glitched, honestly. So let's get this guy just sneak over here. Oh wow. Wait, when did he get damaged? Weird. Clever, making the clouds more dense, so it's harder to see. I like that. Kind of wish they'd implement that in some way in an uh, in open world. If you want to get Moto's breath, or is it Moto's finger? I think. Um, it's actually in this direction. Stand here for safety. See that cloud right there? There's a chain of clouds, which I only did once because, I mean, like I said, it was pure coincidence I got my hands on Moto's finger. But if you want to get Moto's finger, this is the start of it right here. And you just, and the best thing you can do um, is to zoom in as much as you can because that actually does help. A, that helps. Because you know, the closer to your character you are, the better you can see. It's weird. The other thing you can do Screen gamma. Point zero two. What you do? Oh no, wrong way. I'm sorry. Is you darken it, and that helps you see a little bit better. Point zero two. Point zero. Uh, so your screen's gonna look real squared, really weird, but that's how it works. Okay, moving on. I don't know if the server's gonna shut down or if it'll let me stay in here. I don't know what this means. Oh no, I've got both of them going. Damn it! Okay, we're doing this. Both of them here. What the hell? All right, we're not. We're not. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? They're gonna chase me over here. <gasps> Now 
Here's the weird thing. There's a hidden door right here, but you can't open it from this side. You have to open it from... There, there's a teleporter inside here, so you actually teleport back to this point. I think they have it here so that... You can avoid these clouds things. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna kill this guy. And yes, all of these clouds do break. This little break right here. Get to that from above. That's a speed boost. Which is helpful. Yay. Again, if you have the whistle, it makes this area incredibly easy. But basically what you have to do is... Had more time. It says the server's gonna shut down right now, but I don't know what it's gonna do. Because I've never been inside of the box when this when the festival ended. If I knew I had more time, I'd give a more detailed description of what you're supposed to do. these things? I think it works on the bananas over here. That's what they're for. Really? see right there where I'm putting my reticule right here is a um, is a crack in this large pedestal your objective is to drop these pedestals your objective is to drop the pedestal is there a hole over my head no there's not is to drop this large pedestal and this allows you to move on. You actually have to drop a number of these things, so that's why you're climbing around all over the place. And you can see there's a different crack right there. But I'm not going to mess with the bananas. So there's actually two cracks there. There's one there. And you have to climb up these spikes of rock in order to get to them. Uh, it's long and convoluted. But, since I have... where am I? That's where I am. If you have the whistle, you don't have to worry about this at all, and I will tell you why. Let's see, there's one, there's the big one right there. Okay, if you have the whistle, which is seven... Oh, if you have altitude... Oh, oh, oh! When you're in a rush, you make mistakes. Come on, open up. There we go. Remember those rooms with the teleporter I was talking about a couple of minutes ago? Here it is. So, and, th and this is where the three bears are. Not so little bears. Because you can see there's the third polar bear that I just skipped away from. Oh, oh I can't pick it up. Never mind. Um, so, nearly, there's the three bears right there. And then 
here is the check... Oh, I know why they do it, because this is the previous checkpoint. So this is how you get back and forth between them without having to do the... the yeah, without having to do the clouds every time. You just take this teleporter, and you can get back to this area. Oh, that's what it's for. All right. I couldn't put that together until just now. Okay. Uh, let's get some altitude. So I want to get that one spike, because I didn't mess with it. Really? Oops, I did that wrong. There we go. This is your ultimate goal. I mean, going for all the other pedestals. Whatchamacallit, there's one there, there's one there. The whole point of it is to get to this pedestal that you're standing on and to break it. Because there's, there's certain angles you can only attack it from. You can only attack it from here, and from here, and also from up here. So your objective, your ultimate objective is to get to this pedestal. You know, through the, the maze of trying to sort which ones to climb up and all that stuff. And eventually to... up here. in this direction, but I'm terrified right now of the... Oh, there's a... I think I skipped the key because I wasn't thinking. Actually, no, I don't remember a key. Uh... Yeah, it's a secret area. I'm gonna do that. And I screwed up already. This took me... What, 20 minutes, half hour to figure out how to do this one? Wrap around this corner. Well, not to wrap around the corner, but to do this thing. Either swing too wide or you bump up against the thing. And I'll emphasize again, this is what makes the action camera so useful. So you can wrap around corners a lot tighter than you ever could dream of doing in World vs. World or, um, what's the other one? PvP. <laughs> Here's another example. If you do just a regular jump, it's going to take you forever to get over here, so the dodge jump is definitely something you want to have. Oops, I did that wrong, I did that wrong. And then again. <gasps> Don't do that to me. <gasps> what?! How can he see me? Oh, because I haven't killed him. Oh, I forgot. Alright, this is your fault. This is your fault. I got a half heart left because it's gonna get me again. Oh, I kill him! Oh, the key, how about that? Oh, it doesn't matter because I, I'm, I'm at max bottles. Oh, well. Boom. Boy, it's a good thing I opened up those teleporters or, I, or else I'd have to go through all those clouds again. By the way, that 794 baubles that I have there, that's that's the problem with uh, the going solos, because I've collected all of those baubles in just in storm time. And so I've done it solo, and there's nobody here to uh, to hold my my hold my uh, hold my save point while I run around or run back to the lobby. Get him, get him. 
That was my bad, that was my bad. I'll say it now, this is another one of those zones that, uh, it looks like it has a lot more space for interesting things than there actually are. There's a tenor right there, why'd you pick that up? It doesn't matter. It looks like there might be a lot more interesting, th or there might be more places to dig and stuff like that, but it's so vast that A, you wouldn't know exactly where to dig, even if you had a group, and B, they might be doing it just to troll you. There might not actually be anything here, and yet it's so elaborate. It's so elaborate that it makes you... You, you kind of get to the... Seriously. You kind of get to the point where... Uh, what's going on? Am I catching on something? Like an invisible wall or something? It's not that. Oh, get up there. I've done this before, because I got the achievement. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get over there. Oh my god, I brushed it. I brushed it. Oh, you cock tease. Mm. Finally. Jesus. Is it? Is it right here? That was way more frustrating than it should have been. Oh, there's a 50 right there. Uh, yeah, there's a 50 right there, and yeah, I'm still stuck at 794. God. I can't even call for backup uh, to have somebody come in and take my place, because like, the festival's closed. So. Again, not really. No, I don't. Okay. The point is... Okay, so I got the one chest. There's a 50 over there. Um, climb across these. You go to here. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, you climb You climb to the top here, and then you jump here. This, this ledge right here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's a ledge here. You jump to here. There's... So you, you go from here, 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 here. And I don't know what's going to show up to the tip of his nose there, and then you drop down there. I don't know why they make that so complicated. I mean, maybe maybe that's tribulation mode. I don't know. I, I suspect it is. In any event, um, screw that noise. I'm going to go this way. Ordinarily, if you don't want to go through the chest, trouble with the chest, or whatever it is. Open this up because I'm here. Goes one. There's another 50 right there. This is different. This isn't what I was expecting. There's a furniture shop somewhere around here. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh, so that's easy to recharge. Okay. Right. Oh, no. 
there's another there's another shop right here. It's actually part of an achievement. I'm just trying to remember where it is. Spikes? <laughs> Idiot. Oh, what did I miss? I missed the... Um... There's a furniture proprietor. Not that one that I was just in. Off to the, oh, God. Not the one that I was just off to at the, on the right there, but there's another shop where the furniture proprietor is not that elder or is not that the elderly woman but it's actually a goat with the furniture proprietor's hat on and the shop is actually turned on its side so rather than walking on the floor you're actually walking on a wall it's really bizarre and you have to climb everything vertical it's strange because you know goats can apparently walk on the on the on walls apparently it's 12.22 p.m. Hmm. I, I think they're going to let me stay in the instance. 12.23. Okay. I can't... I can't collect any more baubles, unfortunately, but... Uh, it really sucks, by the way. It really sucks. But I'm terrified to go back to the lobby at this point, because it would probably kick me back to... Uh, it probably kick me back into the... Into Radasum. It would kick me out of the box. So I'm just gonna go on from here. Oh god! If you find yourself starting to go backwards, just let yourself fall. I don't think you can stun this guy. I don't. Oh, you can. Over. Oh god. I completely forgot about that, that one furniture store that has the goat in it. It's, it's so funny. Let's see, this one's safer. You don't fall quite as far over here. Yeah, there we go, this one. No. I was trying to stand right on top of them and the boulders popped up. I knew the boulders were coming and I'm like, uh, can I do this without, uh, the boulders hitting me? That's what I want to do is stand right on top of them. Or stack on them, I should say. Okay, so just stand right on top of them. I usually struggle with this guy, so... Learn how to stun him as the trick. Tribulation and normal mode, you're gonna come you're gonna you're gonna arrive at that gate over there for uh 
the other classic mode, because I said, you know, you can make a choice, you can go the easy mode, but I'm intentionally going to go the, the normal mode. Uh, you come to this gate right here. So, that's what that's for. And that's where we're heading. And there's nothing over there. did not collect all the baubles. I like that you can't see her hands because she's got her sleeves wrapped around it. It's funny. A little bobble on her head. Why not? Okay, Storm Wizard. Here I come. It's called Storm Wizard. That's awesome. I want to say Storm Wizards are like the mythical versions of Elementalists or something. Like They're like the precursors to Elementalists. Oh, don't you dare glitch out on me. This, I want to say, this came out two years before March Moth. What am I doing? This was two years before March Moth, but I bet they drew inspiration from it. Two phases of lightning balls. The lightning balls. Get onto a platform here. Oops. Now he's gonna dive down. If you're going solo, he's always gonna dive right underneath you. So I'm actually on that platform over here. Oh, he didn't! Wow, I just ate my words. a mini storm wizard but I want the I want the dragon this is definitely definitely a 16 bit 16 bit uh, ultimate boss fight I love this Spawn me in the middle of it. What's wrong with you? Take this one. Because again, he didn't do 
underneath me. I swear, every time until today, he always comes up right underneath you. So why it is all of a sudden it's now here? All of a sudden now he's missing me. Why am I missing him? As with King Toad at the end of World 1 Zone 3, you have an unusually long warp, or there's an unusually long cooldown time for the, uh, for the bonus round after you defeat the final boss. So why it takes 55 seconds, or however, I think it's a whole minute you have to wait between when the boss dies, when that chest opens and for tele teleportation period, even as a single, pet, a single player. I don't know why they make you wait so long. It's strange, but eh, I'm not going to complain about it too much. I didn't think I was going to make it to Storm Wizard. Uh, that was like a half hour ago I thought it was supposed to end. Back yourself into a corner, don't move around a lot. Two hits to kill each robber. God, I would love to be able to pick up all these bobbles. I've probably left about 250 bobbles behind because I couldn't because I'm maxed out right now. I can't touch them! I can collect them, but they're wasted on me. Oh, please give us World 3 or give us an opportunity to, like... Put the baubles in our inventory or something, I don't know. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, shit. Get my way, I need to pick him up. I need to pick him up. Gotta pick him up. Gotta catch them all. Oh, yes. Looking forward to robbers in World 3 Zone 1. Beds. <sighs> and that is the end of the Super Adventure Box 2018 season. And that is the end of the Super Adventure Festival 2018. Why it would dump me here, I don't know. It kicked me out of Ratasu and took me to Metric Province. Why would it do that? I have no idea. Oh, here's a creepy idea. Maybe... What if the Super Adventure Box is actually... Let's see, where would it be located? Maybe they put it in Tarnished Coast. Maybe that's where it actually is. I don't know. Uh, I made it to the end. I'm glad I am glad I was able to record all that. I'm, re I'm really glad I recorded all that. Why did it dump me in Metrica Province? That's weird. Oh, because if you didn't have... No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Weird. 